Okay, well then, welcome back to the third Ace Hole Podcast. Trace. Yes, third Ace Hole Podcast. Alright, we have me. I'm not going to introduce myself. No one needs to know my name. Uh, we also have everyone else introduce yourselves. Nope. They all know All who right. I am. We got we got that guy. He's been here uh, before. I'm Florida Man, the Jurassic Park employee. Yes, <laughs> we also have him. He's also been here before. So you, if you've seen the other ones, you should know that we have our Jurassic Park employee present. And now we have a new uh, person who hasn't been on the show before, but has been wanting to, but it just hasn't worked out before. So, <gasps> introduce yourself, new person. Hey guys, Cole Concon here at your service. I still need to think of a better intro than that. Well, <laughs> well, too professionals. To yes, we are professional. Absolutely. Too late to edit that out now. Uh, yeah. It's that's really that's up to Kyle. Out. He's and he's not gonna do that. <laughs> Listen, this mm-hmm. is true Hollywood broadcasting right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're Do doing this first take. No retries. Yeah. And it's actually true. So, okay. We are here today. And we have about... Yeah, like four topics. Yeah, we got some stiff. Yeah, so... Uh, anything anyone wants to say, I guess, before we jump into this? We have no idea what we're doing here. Yeah. If that hasn't been obvious already. Alright. No one knows what they're doing. Everyone's faking it until they figure it out. Then they never will. That's why I'm single. Okay. So. There's the meme again. Alright. Now. But the, one of the... One of the topics we'll save till later. So, because it's a rant-worthy topic, as we discussed. And we'll get to the others first. So, the first one we have here, that we'll start off with, I think, is Halo Reach getting a co-op and firefight dedicated servers. Uh, I don't know why I put in parentheses, huge improvement. I guess it'll be hugely improved. In the Halo uh, I, Master Chief collection. I think he was trying to say that the game modes co-op and firefight are getting their own dedicated servers instead of peer-to-peer or whatever, so... Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, so yeah, that will be our first topic. I'm excited for the yes. Master Chief collection. I don't know when it comes out still, I don't think. They still have a date, unfortunately. Um, I thought... But... All that we know of right now is, I think there's like rumors or whatever it being, hang like the beta or something getting played at Microsoft stores. There is a plus. They are going to have like a sort of, like closed beta or whatever to, to testers on PC or something at some point. I have signed up for that, right though, so hopefully I get an email soon. It depends on if well, they if internet, decide to like probably me. get the email like 10 days after. <laughs> yeah. It's just but like I get the email 10 days probably. later like after the beta happens and I'm just like, yeah. damn it. I should probably sign up for that. I should probably look into that. Oh well. Next time. Well, obviously I'll play it when it gets released. Uh, Connor. I mean, shit. <laughs> do you have any uh, input on that? What do you think of it? To be honest, I don't re- I don't really ha- know much. Uh, all I've heard is from what you guys really have told me because I'll be on- I don't really follow Halo at all. Okay, that's uh, the end of the podcast. I guess we're done for today. Uh, no. But, uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I've only ever played, like, the multiplayers of Halo 2 and 3 before, something like that. I played the multiplayer so, of Reach, 
but I've never actually owned a console that had Halo games, if I recall correctly. Same. I Same. played Halo on my Xbox. I was always a PlayStation or Nintendo player. Same. But I am looking forward to it. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I can finally play it on the PC. Because the first one was actually playable on the PC, if I remember correctly. And Halo 2 definitely was, because I had that. Then I lent that to someone, and now I don't think I'll ever get that back, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah, and then after that they stopped for some reason. But it's going to all come back, which I'm excited for. The only thing that sucks for me, though, is I like Halo 3 ODST a lot, because that's an underrated good one. But that's not going to be in it, I don't think. I, I don't think so. I thought it was. I think it's on the console version. ODST is. No, that doesn't matter, does it? Damn. I must be missing something, but I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know, but it's on the console version, because I think they, like, apologized that it on there for, like, apologizing for some like huge bugs or whatever so they added odst as well yeah, so actually, I, it, let's see it, halo reach along with halo combat evolve the original one the anniversary version that is halo 2 anniversary halo 3 and halo 3 odst and halo 4 okay <laughs> halo 4 is gonna be on that's what it says right here in the steam page really at least halo 5 doesn't come with it though that was a piece of shit no one wants that, but uh, okay. Hmm. Combat Evolved is the first one, right? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, and they're putting the re the uh, the anniversary versions, the first and second, so it'll be better graphics and stuff. Hey, who is to complain about that? But, uh, okay, sweet. And Halo Four was better than Halo Five. Say that much. Hey, it's it's just another thing being included with the whole package. That is true. Yeah, I do. I do re remember seeing the advertising for and for Halo Four when it was first coming out. Yeah. In fact, it's the only Halo game that I ever saw ads for. I can't actually remember any advertising for pretty much any Halo game. Just the online hype for it. I I recall seeing something on the TV for Halo. I don't remember which one, but it was a long time ago. I mean, obviously, this is like when it was like 360 or original Xbox. Like, it was a long time ago. Uh, if it was either original or 360, that's like 1 through 4, isn't it? Pretty much. Mm. Yeah, as far yeah. as I know. I mean, I had, I think, 2. Halo 2. So it was a while ago. Yeah, sure checked on that bit. Awesome. So they're included. So it has all the good ones, and... It doesn't have the shit ones. And of course, there's Halo Wars now on Steam. That's been on Steam for a while. And of course, Halo Wars 2, which is on the shitty Microsoft store. But, so... Is that the... One. Halo Wars is the top-down one, right? Yeah, it's the RTS. Yeah, what the hell is that? It's the RTS one, if you can call it that. But it's, it's still Halo Wars top down shooter? No, Halo Wars oh, okay. is an RTS, but it was made for a console, so it's not a real RTS. Because they were limited by you know, the Xbox 360's shittiness. So. But is that coming to PC then, or is it already on Oh, PC? no, that Halo Wars has been on the Steam for. Uh, a long time now. 
it's been on Steam for a while. The definitive edition. Twenty dollars. It's been on Steam since April twentieth, twenty seventeen. And then Halo Wars Two was uh, released on the PC as well as the console, which what a can't make a true real time strategy game on a console, but what do I know? Anyways, so those are all the ones that are on the PC for now. I mean, real time strategy games are meant for PC anyway. Mm hmm. Yeah. The only. Halo I guess. Art... I guess it depends on how strict are you on what real time strategy is. Because people people still call MOBAs technically real-time strategy. That is not true. They are MOBAs. There That's are a few the whole good ones point. on the DS. Not on, like, DS consoles, like the LEGO Battles ones. I would not expect an RTS game on a DS. That... I've, yeah, I've never heard of that one. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly good. Well, with the touch screen, that's probably a little bit better. The only other Halo RTS is actually a mod, and that's a good RTS, because it's a mod for Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, called Sins of the Prophets, so you should look that up if you have that game, because that's an awesome mod. But of course, that's all, you know, in space and stuff, there's no ground battles there. Uh... Yeah, so the firefight and uh, co-op are getting dedicated servers, which is nice. Co-op's going to be fun, for sure. Okay. So. Uh, Con Damn it. Cole, Con Con. Will you, you know be you getting... Me, you know you can just uh, us call me e Connor or, or Cole for, uh, for now. Sure. Okay, got it. I'll use your first and last name, and we'll be putting this on the internet. Okay. Absolutely. I never gave Connor. you permission to use my last name. Well, I can just say it anyways. And... Connor, so will you be getting Halo Reach and like the Master Chief Collection? And play it with us. I haven't made a decision yet. On on one hand, and may and maybe that I was I have always has been kind of biased against the against the Halo games for for many many years. So it's kind of hard for me to not think that way. How so? I just ne I mean. Just, just old bias, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I was mostly just kind of biased against Xbox in general. Well, it's not on the Xbox; it's on the PC, so you don't have to get it on the Xbox. Thank God, because uh, I, I didn't get the Xbox One. Though. Don't get that, by the way. I so. never planned on it. I'm yeah, Nintendo and PlayStation for life. Well, yeah, obviously. Doggo has returned to suck our souls. <laughs> He's like really on edge and confused right now. Oh, just because, like, he's thinking my dad's coming home or something, so he was <laughs> flipping out. Oof, dad's not coming back. Oh, damn. Okay. Wow, that got dark very <laughs> quick. That's a fat rip. So you gonna get uh, the Master Chief Collection there, Joel, as well? I plan on it. And, uh, cause I think going through... Because I've never played any Halo campaigns whatsoever. Uh, so playing through it with you guys sounds like a lot of fun. One question is, do we have any clue about how much it'll cost? Probably 60. Like, at the very least, 40 or something. 
Well, how much does it cost on <clears throat> the Xbox? I'd be surprised if it isn't 60. Seems like more than I, more than I'm I actually for some. Well, here I'm looking at it on Amazon, and on Amazon for the Xbox One version, the Xbox version, it's twenty six dollars. On the brand, brand new. on the Microsoft Store, it's thirty dollars digital. So hopefully, it's going to be. Thirty dollars still. So they mark it up thirty more dollars just because they're. Oh, that's stupid. It's also going to be on well because Microsoft is moving Game Pass to PC, so and uh, it's going to be the same thing for that. And I assume it'll be available on the PC Game Pass. So, I assume that if you already own Game Pass, you'll get that. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing I can find on what a price would be for the PC version on Steam. But I would assume, hopefully, around 30 bucks, because if they mark it up, like I said, that's kind of BS. So, I wouldn't buy it for $60. Neither yeah. would I. Yeah, Noah, are you going to get it? Are you going to play with us? Not for $60, I'm not. Well, yeah, no, we're not going to get it for 60 bucks. Hell no, but, like, if they release it like they should at $30. Yeah, probably. You know. Nope. Yeah. Just well, you know what they say about that, right? If there's no hmm. surprise, it's too expensive. Hmm. No, we're not buying expensive, fashionable clothing, no, are we? And it's not on a flipping art gallery. Yeah. But, um... Imagine in the future where they put, like, a like a copy of Halo in an art gallery or something. Well, didn't you see that one thing where, like, somebody, like, forgot their glasses or something? And, like, they set them on the ground or whatever? And people thought it was an actual part of the exhibit and everyone was there taking pictures and yeah, everything. Yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah. They were all the hipsters art. with the scarves. Everything. Do you know that uh, ankle scarves are a thing? Not socks. Scarves, like around your neck, but like small that you put on your ankles. Yeah, fun facts. Fun fashion facts. I should turn it another light on. It's dark as I, hell here, I won't go into detail about the situation, but we had this chick come in yesterday who was pretty crazy. And, uh,. She said that she had a degree in art education, and she actually said that she should probably get a degree in something else that will pay her instead of something that won't ever pay. And I was like, you're the first person I've ever heard say that, that has an art degree. She's she's clearly intelligent. I'm like, you might actually be just a little bit smart. If you can get rid of the crazy, you might be smart. Mm-hmm. The first, the first so, one. That was there that was is. a plus one in my book that day. Nice. Yeah, that degree's not gonna. Yeah. What are you gonna do with an art degree though, like, besides work at a museum or some? Not a museum, at an art gallery or some shit. But yeah, and even then. I mean, maybe an art museum. Well. Yeah. yeah. Well, my brother yeah. got like a art and design degree and That's, he's you got design in there too yeah, you put the different. design in there and now you got something to work with yeah you take that piece of paper and you put design and you get a whole other thing right there. Uh, well it's just like like the whole arts and sculpture and stuff is what he does as uh any you can pretty much do anything from clay acrylic to digital yeah, yeah, see, that's different. That you can actually do stuff with and make money with. But like a liberal mm. arts degree, I mean... That ain't gonna do a damn thing for you. Yeah, though he does his, uh, okay, work around so. town 
at museums yeah, and way, art yeah, galleries uh, and stuff. Ankle scars. Ankle scars, got it. Our yeah. thing. Just so you guys know, and if point? you wanted to pick up some ankles, you know what? I wonder if there's a picture. Can you find a picture? Ankle scars. Oh wow, here we are in uh, boom suggested search right there. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Can I download this? I don't want this on my computer, but I just copy and paste it. Oh, that's true. And away yeah. we go. Anchor stars. You're all welcome. Kyle can find it in the Discord. Oh god, why? <laughs> what the hell? Here we go, right here, everyone. Ankle scars. Just so uh, you all know what's the next hot fashion trend. Not lying. Does that that actually kind of looks like Photoshop? Yeah, I can't. Really, I don't really know, but there's also an article here. A picture of a country living article. Ankle scars are the new cold weather accessory we didn't see coming. It's by Caitlin Fitzpatrick, December 19th, 2018. Here's a wild idea. Socks. <laughs> no. No. Ankle scars. It looks you like clearly... the guy in this photo obviously isn't wearing socks. That or is wearing those like ballet socks oh, that man. are like meant to not but to be hidden. Get some longer socks and you get you some ones that are meant for the winter time and you'll have some nice ankle socks that can also be scarves. Cut a piece cut a piece of the of the Oh I got another here I got another picture. Another different type of design, I guess. Okay, hang on, I'm get, I've got I've got Google images up. I've got, uh, up. I'll screen share the thing. No, we got this. Here we go. There's another one. Mustard oh. scars. Are we just gonna have Kyle edit this stuff in? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Okay. I don't know if you. <clears throat> Why? Why? People I'm recording the video are... though, so. I'm recording the video, so I have the chat right here. In the list, so. uh, you know, if you're not into that design, we also have this one. If you guys aren't into that type of uh, knitting, we have this type of knitting. This is ankle scars in New Middle East something. Cuts off, but... Uh, those lo don't look too bad, actually. Stop it. Anything. Stop it. Don't encourage this. We will literally... We will end this podcast right now. Well, okay, yeah, mustard yellow is a bit... A bit That's iffy. just not right. Are you guys... At least it looks like it's trying to be stylish here. It's and not like it's... You guys are going to be disappointed sock. because this is literally like an actual picture that somebody took of a non-model. Look at that. It's oh like a picture God. that somebody took right behind someone. Guaranteed whoever's wearing those shoes is oppressed as hell. No, no, that's total hipster. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, God, and this is another one. You're gonna have to go stop again. him. I'm you're gonna make my blood pressure go up. How are you? Like 65? Close. Alright. This is okay, fine. This will be the last one. There you go. Hey, look, Sonic shoes. Ankle scarves, everyone. The dumbest invention ever. If you want to get the hottest fashion <laughs> trend coming this fall, when the weather I've... gets colder, your ankle socks will get. I'm just suddenly imagining, like, you know they're doing the redesign for the Sonic movie. Imagine they don't oh. change anything, they just add ankle scarves. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sonic ankle scarves. Alright, for the sake of Noah's sanity, next topic. <laughs> yes, moving on from ankle scarves, the hottest new fashion trend. 
that started in late 2018 that will of course be going through to this winter for sure uh, just what i just watched sec- i just i just like next time we do this is the company that makes these is gonna try is gonna ask the sponsor us or something after a post like advertising for them yeah no i don't know if we take that deal I don't think this stuff makes that. Depends much on money. how they, much they. Depends on how much they offer. Twenty-five dollars. What? What the hell? Why are you are you looking up the price? I wanted to see how much stupid costs. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> how much stupid costs? Whatever. Where did you find them for Amazon. sale? Oh my god. <laughs> Where the hell else do you send twenty-year-olds that are looking for, you know? I need to buy something new. I, oh, that's a, that's a regular one. What? What do you mean a regular one? What, what different types like regular, are there? Like a regular scarf for their throat, which probably should be tighter on some of these people. Okay. Uh, while Noah looks up prices for a hot new fashion accessory ankle scarves, we uh, are going to move on to the next topic, which is another game, which is actually kind of... I hope they don't screw this one up, because it's the Avengers game. Do you want to see anything for that? Anyone? Uh, not much is really known about that. I've done a little looking, but yeah, it's... All we know is that its existence was leaked before its announcement is all. Like yeah, it's I found it. It was supposed Ooh. to be announced at E3, but then it got leaked ahead of time, and some... of course, as everything does nowadays. At yeah, this I point, it's it sort of like to... they leak stuff on purpose to get the hype up before the announcement. Well, yeah, they've been doing that for years. So I found this about a day ago on uh, an Instagram page that I follow called Marvel True Facts. Square Enix will be revealing its first look at the Marvel's Avenger or Avengers video game on June 10th at E3. So Square Enix is apparently making it, if this is accurate, and uh, it's going to be yeah the Marvel Avengers video game. Yeah, it seems I'm willing to at least give it the benefit of the doubt. The out comic book games have always been kind of a mixed mixed bag quality wise. Like as as like as Proton John would point out that out that for every gem of a game when it comes to comic book ones, there's at least a dozen flops. So it's anyone's guess whether this one's going to be good or not. Now, does anyone know what type of game it'll be? Or is that not been leaked? Mm, I'm pretty sure that's not been leaked. So I mean. I don't know. This is the same company that made Life is Strange, so maybe there will be elements of choice involved. Who knows? Let's see. Because uh, they also... Because uh, Square Enix did made uh, Deus Ex, right? If I'm correct. I don't know. The only I games... Think, I, I think so. Two of their games. Yeah, so... I don't well, know if they were, Square if Enix is the Final Fantasy guys. Yeah, that too. I can't remember if... Yeah, so I wonder. I wonder if it'll be like a third person or a first person experience. But nowadays, everything's you know third person because you got to see their ass right in the middle of your screen every time when you're trying to aim. But gotta get America's ass in there. Yeah, gotta get to Black Widow. What? Okay. So what would be interesting though? If you don't know, what would be interesting though is if it had co-op imagine that though imagine if it was like a, they had like some co-op mode or something where you could each play a separate you know avenger and you could do I don't know, whatever the hell is in the game to do yeah i it really depends as well because as a, is it going to be like post end game pre like that, that, pre-end game, or if it's gonna be multiplayer or single player, or even you know, might not even have a co-op thing. But... Is it even going to? Is it even going to be be connected to it to the MCU at all? That's well. It... I mean, even if it was, it wouldn't be canon. But yeah, but uh, lots of speculation. I guess we won't find out till E3. But who knows? More will probably be leaked on it. 
And well, the only the only Avengers and games I know of is the kind of. Nowadays. I actually just watched a video earlier today about a new cell phone, and it was like the Moto Z4 or something that hasn't even been announced yet. It's not been released yet, but Amazon, I guess, has so many phones that keep coming out all of a sudden that they put up a, a store page for this phone that no one knew about. It hasn't been announced, and they put up the store page, and a guy bought it and actually got it physically in his hand there, and he was doing, like, a review of it, so leaks and rumors and all this crap are getting out of hand nowadays. I mean, in some cases, I mean, there's a difference between, I mean, like, leaks and early access, I guess, because, I mean, sometimes companies do give early access to certain people to promote Well, yeah, that they give it to the YouTubers and influencers, and of course they're all paid off. But, anyways, so yeah, the Avengers game. It'd be kind of cool if they had some. Then again, we don't know what it will be around or whatever. But if it had a co-op thing where you could each play a different Avenger and fight people, that that would be pretty cool. Another question is who is is how is what characters will be in in there? Will it just be the Avengers, or will the X Men and Fantastic Four be there too? Especially since since uh, like Disney now owns Fox and all the IPs and everything that they had, so it's just like. Gonna be weird. And the Russo right. brothers do want to pl- do- make a Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, I another one. Yeah, like I know they specifically said they want to bring Doctor Doom in, and he is probably and he Doctor Doom is probably one of my favorite Marvel villains. It, I mean, it, it most likely will center around the Avengers themselves, so... Of course. But it would and be interesting to see. Yeah. As... Something tells me it'll be more centered around the movies than the comics. Well... Because that's, like, the biggest one, thing. Well, one of the theories and everything I've been hearing lately is that the next arc of the whole Avengers thing is going to be, like, multiverse-themed or whatever. Era, like kicking off with the new Homecoming, or not the new Spider-Man movie, Far From Home. Cause Say that again, you were cutting out there. But... In, well, in the new Spider-Man Far From Home trailers and everything, they reference the multiverse heavily. And so a lot of theories are just like, they're basically just going to start pulling other IPs from other different universes, like pulling the X-Men from another universe already established in that universe over to this universe. Or, so, like they did with the four, uh, the four spoilers. I was gonna, gonna season say that. of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. T- you have touched on that al- already as well. Uh, spoilers, sorry. but I, I don't care about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. personally. I haven't even gotten that far in the show. I just know that that's a thing that happens. I've been watching the show lately. I haven't kept up with that in a while. I'm thinking that's of reviewing the first season on my own cha- on my personal channel. I'm going to review each season of that show. Nice. Whenever I get it. around to it. But uh, I kind of have yeah. a lack of an upload schedule. About the same. Um. Yeah. So we covered that. I don't know. Does anyone else have any more info on that? Um. I'm just hoping it's not going to be like one of those crappy Avengers mobile games or whatever that I see advertised everywhere. I mean, there was one good Avengers mobile game, but then they got rid of it. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be crappy, but if it is, of course, it's not going to sell that much, so and people will probably be pissed. Uh, well, it's just like they so... have to put a pretty good pitch on the theme and everything of what they're going to do for this. Because if it's just, if they're entirely, rev- entirely, like, just banking on that Avengers will sell, well, uh, 
then hopefully that they didn't like skimp on the whole Square Enix magic or whatever the hell they have. Yeah, well, you know, I guess we'll we'll have to see. For sure, there'll most likely be more leaks coming sent to uh, the closer we get to E3, because that's usually how information gets dropped nowadays. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it, my personal hope is that it's that it plays somewhat similarly to the to, a, to the Spider-Man PS4 game, maybe. Yeah, cause see, that's okay. the thing that that game was, you know, like the third person. That was that was a uh, that was an excellent game, type. and I, I even so that was a good one. Yeah. So if you play something like that, so that's the thing. It could be something like that, you know, like a that type of a game, you know, and you're in some because now that's what now the best of thing nowadays, you know, open worlds stuff. So uh, could be something well, like that. By the time this actually well, goes up, uh, 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 by the time this video goes up, there's probably going to be more, and so whatever we're saying now will probably be dated. But, mm-hmm. well, open world, well, the open world of the Spider-Man games is kind of like intrinsically part of the Spider-Man games, just because you can't really have a Spider-Man game without it being Spider-Man web slinging through New York. That's kind of his thing. PS1, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, like I remember, I remember swinging across the city in the PS2, in the PS2 version of of Spider-Man 2. That game was so. That game was so fun. That yeah, Spider-Man, the Spider-Man 3 game was a bit meh. Uh, I had it on PS3. It wasn't bad at it, but. Yeah, for a long time, Spider-Man 2 was the only one uh, on where you actually felt like Spider-Man, cause the, uh, but then over time, the web slamming got a little worse with each game. Web of Shadows was okay, it was okay once you got used to it, and then Amazing Spider-Man was... I didn't even know they made a game for that one. And then Shattered Dimensions was also, it was also okay. <laughs> You're naming a lot of Spider-Man games that I didn't even know existed. Shattered Dimensions, I'm pretty sure had it was at least in part responsible for, uh, responsible for the inspiration of what's it called, the Into the Spider Verse, like. Probably not completely, but at least had some. What the heck is that? Yeah, so we'll just have to keep an eye on this. And of course, yeah, by the time we put up the next episode, we'll probably be covering all the new updates and, and leaks and crap. So. Maybe. But we well, have... Uh, well, there's like a yeah, lot of... Right now it's scheduled to be unveiled at June 10th at... And my, yeah, at six p.m. p.m. p m p m p t dur a e dur a e by yeah yeah at e three so we'll keep an eye on that uh we got about nine or so minutes left so I guess if you're all ready for a good rant we can move it into our third topic oh boy. WHO, World Health Organization, lists video game addiction as a illness. Why should this be separated from from any other addiction? You're going to get addicted to anything. You know, you you all saw these kids freaking addicted to fidget spinners. But, yeah, so WHO officially listed video games as, you know, an illness or whatever, so video game uh, addiction is an illness. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So, you got some lots of good input. Yeah, it's like the whole research on the subject is 50-50 people just spouting whatever BS that they want to say about the whole thing. 
saying thing oh absorbing violent ginger life through media is going to make you a violent person or whatever and then there's the the actual research studies that actually research it and then and are just like huh we went into here expecting to see some sort of result and find the opposite it's just like that were the case i would be a serial killer by now i think i think all four of us would be yeah okay if this was the case I've said this multiple times before. I must try to contain myself about this utter stupidity. But if the violent video games, I even did a presentation on this in one of my criminal justice classes. I did it on a violent, did it on like video game violence or something. Or something. And of course, there was some stupid person in there that was like, "Oh well, you know, uh, fucking, you know, violent video games cause violent behavior." Blah blah blah. And, you kill people in GTA Five, and I was like, "You kill people in whatever. a lot of games." Yeah. Why whatever, are you singling but, GTA uh, Five out? But because oh. I, I brought up hatred, which of course, the whole point of that game is to <laughs> kill innocent people, you know. And uh, it's a great game for relieving stress. Twitch even banned it because Twitch is me. But I, I did, I had that in there on some, and then somebody was like, "Oh, you know, I'm like." Or what? That's so bad. You can kill innocent people, and I was like, "Well, you know, GTA Five. You do this, you can do the same thing." Blah blah blah, whatever. But um, I also said, you know, it's pretty much what I always say is, if vi- if if violent video games cause violent behavior and make people, you know, violent school shooters and stuff, then uh, I think we all, especially me, with the amount of games I play, would have been doing something like that years ago. Quite honestly, so, I, I, even with the Grand Theft Auto series in general, if that was the case, anybody who has ever played all of the Grand Theft Auto games like I have would be a definite drug addict, nymphomaniac, serial killer. Like, that's just, that's it. Well, considering GTA is the literally best-selling video game of all time, how many copies of that game has been sold, and how many I people have, have played it, versus how many people are serial killers? Is it, I'm I pretty would, sure. I would like to know that answer. How many people that just... have played that game that are actually? We all, I mean, that? we all know that it doesn't cause violent behavior. That's been proven already. But this, I guess, is more on the addiction side as making it an, um, some sort of illness which is bullshit because you know you can get addicted to literally anything people are addicted to coffee but that's not a fucking illness no i drink mm. many many cups of coffee a day same i'm gonna get some coffee right before i go to work tonight but you know people get addicted to coffee people get addicted to Nowadays, they're cell phones. Everyone's everyone's addicted to these, you know. And that's not an illness, I don't think. Oh, it's not considered an illness, but it, uh, many people do consider it a problem. But I was going to say, yeah. it's probably damn well on its way to be one watch. I guarantee, you, I guarantee you in the next five years it will be. Hell, if you this can... is already happening with video games, I guarantee you cell phones are next. The government wants to fuck everything up. And then, of Uh, course, you know, this puts the the thing into question. Now that it's been officially labeled an illness or whatever, that the government's going to get involved. And, of course, the government's going to fuck everything up, as they usually do. It starts with the parents, and I will always say that, because obviously Grand Theft Auto is for mature audiences only, and it's for 17 and above. Yet, I don't fucking know how many times, at least on San Andreas, where I was playing a multiplayer and there was like 10 year olds. I'm oh, like, yeah, what that, the hell are you doing? That's another thing, yeah. That's another thing that I say a lot is that it all boils down to the parenting nowadays. But to be honest, I'll admit, I played my first rated M game when I was like 5, I think. I turned out fine. But anyways... Yeah, we all did. Yeah, me and my siblings were playing Call of Duty since we were kids. That's yeah, a... but it, it, it all... My parents were a lot more strict when it came to that aim to higher rated games. I wasn't even allowed to play T-rated games for a while until 
I, I like I became like t- until I turned like twelve. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I started pretty young, but I mean, I could handle it in a way because you know it's a game, but it all boils yeah. down to the parenting, really, as well. You know, if your kid, because I know some young people who are like way more mature than people my age mm-hmm. they could probably handle it you know they they already play them and it doesn't affect them at all because they're not you know stupid but uh you know it all depends on how mature you are and whether you can handle it or not and then it all depends on your parents you know? i think it's the parents need to decide that if they think that their kid can be mature enough fine but if they have a doubt in their mind then Here's a great idea. Don't let him fucking touch it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of parents nowadays, from what I can tell, are wi- are up too afraid to a uh, to be uh, to be strict. First uh, yeah. It's. I mean, there's. I mean, there's a time where being uh, where it's where you can be where. There's a time where it's okay to a to be a little more easygoing, and there's a time where it's important to be strict. You gotta find find balance in there. Yeah, oh, yeah I this... think I think a lot of parents have problems doing that too, is because they don't know where to find that balance where they won't get in trouble. And which brings up a point because I was just as you were saying that I remember seeing a video specifically on Instagram where this kid who was not I could not even imagine he was a day over sixteen years old had cornered his dad in the bathroom. I, oh don't get me started. I I watched that entire video and yeah. I wanted to hit that kid. If I did that so, when I was sixteen years old, I don't think I would have lived. You would have got your ass beat like like what should happen. Yeah. Yeah, I saw I, that video too. It's just a pathetic I I watched that whole video and I was so pissed after that video, because that's what's happening. Yeah. That is exactly what's happening to kids. Yeah, there's an the entire subreddit of room. of just these entitled parents, and one and generally when it comes to the um, the parents in that that subreddit, half of them seem to think that their their child is the second coming of uh, of Christ, uh, Christ and just uh, uh, so they want they demand that the, and that people get you know, give the their child's child stuff or uh, whatever they have and whatever they want. The other half are just the most neglectful f- oh, people ever. That just yeah. D- uh, er, and will er, even in some cases even literally leaving the, their childs with complete strangers or er, angels, us- which are usually the ones who are making the posts. Yeah. And that you know there are there are a lot of shit parents. I will say that there are a lot of really crappy parents, which again brings me to another damn video I saw the other day, and that was a child that was I would probably say no less than four years old, maybe four, five, or six years old ish. They're on a subway. I don't know where, probably New York, um, by the looks of it, but. The mom and the dad were both so strung out on drugs, they were passing out on the train. The dad was standing up, and he almost fell over. He was so bad. The mom kept passing out on the seat. And that kid, it was just having the time of his life, and he had no idea what the hell was happening. Yeah. Parents nowadays makes you, uh, makes you shit. That uh, makes, makes me you, shit. Uh, yeah. Makes you grateful for the ones that he got. Yeah. But um yeah, so that's what it boils down to, I think, would be parenting for sure. Should it be an illness? Hell no. No, it's, not even It's right a matter course. of of parents need to be uh, need to learn learn when to end the discipline in their kids heads properly and yeah, and I know. I get it. Knowing when and when to do that is not always easy, but you can be but got some that, uh, that's just a thing where Air if it's if there are enti- are ratings, for things, there's a rating system already in place. You should pr- that's probably a good place to look uh, uh, to start out. Mm. If yeah, that I mean, made any personally... sense whatsoever, what I was saying. That makes sense. No, I mean they they if they have a problem, they need to reference the age limits. That's it. I mean that makes sense. 
why I would never let at my I get I get play that play a such such games when they're that young. Man. Not that not that I'm ever going to have kids, but well, you never know. But yeah, that's just yeah. the whole thing is just ridiculous. So, I mean, you kind of get addicted to reading books. People are addicted to reading books. That should be I right, let's let's make that an illness. I mean, basically, uh, the world, I mean, WHO is basically stepping in for shit parenting. That's what that comes down to. Um, what do we want? Do we want us parenting our kids or the government? I'd rather have me parenting my own kids. Yeah. But that's just saying. But, uh, I mean, I'll admit, sometimes I sacrifice. A sleep is very valuable to me because I work in the day job. And I'll work nights as well. So I get maybe two hours of sleep in between if I'm working both one day. And, like, the other day, I'll admit, I sacrificed my sleep time to stay up all night and play a video game. But at that point, you have to. I mean, you have to have something to disconnect, you know, from work and bullshit and stuff. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, that was my conscious choice. I knew what I was doing. I consciously was like, I want to play said game. Because the uh, game was uh, EVE Online, and there's another big new event that's happening, so I wanted to get in more time on that. And I've done it before, you know, sometimes I can't even fall asleep between the jobs, so I stay up and watch people watch TV. They're addicted to that. But I consciously made the choice that I was going to play said game, leave for work, and I didn't really have a problem because went to work, worked, came back this morning, passed out. You know, I consciously made that choice, and uh, that you have an illness. That, that actually reminds me of there is an article I saw where this it starts off weird. Netflix saw that this person had watched Netflix oh, that yes. watched B movie for like three hundred fifty seven times this year or whatever, and they actually sent someone. Probably Chase. they. They sent someone to check on this person. It turns out it was a mother that just had it on repeat because the child was so acting up so much, but the only thing to, she could get it to calm down was watching this movie. Yeah, I mean, most likely it was Jason in disguise. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that. There was, also, you know there was also one there was also one that happened from a guy that was watching The Office so much that they sent someone to check up on him. Was it Brandon? Probably. But you know, speaking yeah, of Rusty, I mean, though, it's I would I would really like to know at what point did they start playing video games like that, or what point were they allowed to the three of them? Who? How? Yeah. All of them? Yeah, like, um, I would like to know at what point they were allowed to start doing that. Some probably, I don't know, probably somewhere towards me to I don't know, probably young. I, like I would like to video? think so, but I don't know. What I time like they were to allowed to play video games? Yeah, like what what age were they allowed to play the games, especially the ones that are more mature rated, obviously. Um, because I obviously you know they have a they had a different childhood. Sometimes it seems like that is true. Yeah. Yeah, for me, like it's it pretty much just start off with like some pretty basic games, like Spyro, this like educational Winnie the Pooh game on PS One. Those were. And, like, a couple of DS games, like Super Mario. Not DS, uh, Game Boy. Hey, and Pokemon. That was pretty much my first off starting set of games when I was, like, four or younger. And then after that, it, it branched off Ratchet and Clank, Call of Duty, hey, Jack and Daxter. Or those were my games up until, like, around 13 or so when I started playing, branching off with other or games like Skyrim and so on. Yeah. Initially, all I had I ever played was like computer plays and games and plug and play systems. Uh, I'm like, like I played a few of the few of the humongous entertainment games, like games like like Pajama Sam and and Brenny the A Fish. Then I played yeah I played I had a few you know, plug and play systems for quite a while. And then my co- oh, yeah. then I met with a few of my Canadian cousins who, uh, cousins who introduced me to, me to the PlayStation and 
the first three games that I ever played were Looney Tunes Back in Action, Pac-Man World 2, and Lego Star Wars 1. Yeah, I remember we also had, like, Freddy Fish and that, like, Spy Fox thing on the PC ages ago. Oh. We probably have the discs for some of them somewhere around the house. Yeah, and apparently they're all on Steams, and I'm, I've been tempted to get them for a little while. Just a little bit of nostalgia child games, children's yeah, games. I, I think like the first game ever on the computer I played was like the, that was online. I think was probably RuneScape, and that was when I was in very early middle school. Oh now, yeah. Obviously, a lot of people are gonna be like, "Well, RuneScape wasn't bad." However, I don't know what servers y'all were playing on, but some of the ones that I would get on, people would be straight up having like computer sex with each other. And then the same thing happened, I saw a couple times, on the one game, you wouldn't believe it, but Club Penguin, I saw it on there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I was, and it was there too, and then there was another one that I cannot remember. But you basically, it was almost like you made your own emoji game or whatever, or you had your emoji character, and you would play with like everybody else throughout the world. I really don't remember what it was called, though. And it was the same thing, people were having that computer sex with each other. No, no. it's not shocking. Yeah, I, I was like, wow, okay. I actually first started playing RuneScape when I was six, I remember, was when I made my first account on RuneScape. Hey, but, but I don't remember it being that bad, but I just remember just like everyone being like the sad, desperate and people going around asking for a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. You know what's funny about that? Through that game, I had an online girlfriend for about three months. Yeah, she I just ignored Michigan. people. I it was shit. It was like, and I was that was back in middle school, right? Halfway through high school, at some point, somehow she found me, and we were talking. We didn't talk long. I don't remember where she found me on, but she found me somewhere, and we started talking. I'm like, who the hell? And then I realized when I remember the town that she lives in and then her name, I'm like, oh my god, it's her. So that was, yeah, so I was one of those people and so was she back then. Again, I was in middle school, so you know damn well what I was thinking. And so, yeah, that was, I did that. <laughs> so there's something else you don't know about me until now. Yeah, my sister MK, he, uh... Like, her avatar was a girl, but so she obviously got those questions just like, are you a real girl or whatever? Or, and there was this one time she was, like, going on for, like, an hour or messing with this <laughs> dude that, like, couldn't yeah. figure it out. It was just like, Man. are you are you actually a girl? Because he was really confused because he thought she was at the very start. And then she said, like, sup or yo or dude or whatever. <laughs> Her. And well, and so she was just sitting there making fun of him the entire time, and you couldn't figure it out. That's amazing. Well, that's and that's the difference too. That is, sounds like her. If anybody remembers the uh, uh, that was MSN. my other sister, her and Connor. You I may know. have met her. I'm not sure. It seems like something she would do. It does. Well, it sounds like something girl, both of them would do. With the girl I was talking to, we would talk on MSN messenger or live messenger so we would video chat too so she was definitely a woman and like i said it was like three or four months and then we were like what the hell are we doing <laughs> all right well uh, before we get way too off topic uh <laughs> yeah i think we should end it there we covered most yeah of it. we could obviously rant more on uh but yeah, um, but rant over. I think I think the viewers got the picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they they know our opinions on that. Yeah. If if they decide to ask more, there's always the comment section, which I don't know if any of us reads it or not. I haven't. Rob now logged into it. If it even exists, that would be like Kyle. But okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm there. I'll, yeah, I'd, I'd probably e- 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 log into the. the I'll not log into the thing, but I'll probably check the comments and it's on my own. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I think we'll end it there. We covered all, all the topics.
Uh, the rest that we have in the list will cover on the next episode. But this was episode, what, three again? This three, three, yeah. Episode three of the Ace Hole Podcast. Uh, you know, again, we had a Florida man. We had Cole Concon. We had Big Head. And we had me. So, uh, thank you all for watching and joining. Uh, if you did, if you didn't, we understand. And uh, we'll all see you next time.